I'm Dr. Swarchla, Scientific Director with Ziva Fertility Centers. There are a lot of hormones that we check when evaluating for male infertility. But is there a connection between prolactin and male infertility? That's the topic of our discussion. Prolactin is a very important peptide hormone which is released by the pituitary in the brain. Now, it has a number of functions, especially in women, it's very important when a woman is lactating, when she's breastfeeding. In men also, it's very important. It's critical for proper functioning of a lot of body parts. But if it is elevated, which is called as hyperprolactinemia, it uh, causes a lot of issues. Let's see how it works first of all. Prolactin, when elevated, it switches off GnRH. It's a hormone that is released again by the pituitary and it's very important for the release of FSH and LH follicle stimulating hormone and luteinizing hormone. Now these two hormones are again very critical for switching on of testosterone which is very important as we know for a lot of male reproductive functions. It could be secondary sexual characteristics or uh, sperm production. All these are very important under the guidance of testosterone hormone. So have you understood what it is? Now what are the symptoms? Are there some ways you can make out that uh, you know you're suffering from this problem? There are a few but don't decide and don't come to a conclusion without a clinician's guidance. You could have decreased libido, you could have ejaculatory problems, you could have erection problems, you could have uh, a lot of uh, you know lethargy or low energy issues. So all these are associated with hyperprolactinemia. In addition to this, there could be gynecomastia as in the breasts in males also are large and there could be white discharge as well because prolactin as I said is very important for lactating in the same way in men also it's uh, it may cause white discharge from the nipples of breast now this is one of them then uh, there are other things like uh, being over fatigued you know for small stresses also you are over fatigued that also is one of the indications that you could be suffering from hyperprolactinemia but you cannot just come to a conclusion is it can there be some causes then can there be some reasons for you to have this it could be associated with hypothyroidism it could be associated with a lot of stress liver function problems it could be associated with the over exercise but in addition to all this the most important thing is using some kind of drug like some medications which are antidepressants or antihypertensive these are drugs which could cause hyperprolactinemia so when you are suffering from the symptoms that i have said also correlate with your history have you been doing too much exercise or is there a liver issue is there are there drugs that are involved some some medications that you are on but all these can be concluded only if you approach a clinician. Your doctor will then do a blood test. When hyperprolactinemia uh, is present, it is present in elevated quantities, but there is a cutoff value to it. If it is that, then your doctor will prescribe you some medication to bring down hyperprolactinemia, which is just a medication that will start functioning within 10 to 15 days. So it is not a very big issue when it is within controlled range of being on the higher side. But it is a little dangerous when it is very elevated. When the prolactin is elevated, your doctor could also ask you to go do an MRI of the brain. That's because hyperprolactinemia or more prolactin in your body could be an effect of some tumor in the brain. So when this uh, MRI is done, it can also help in evaluating if you have a tumor in the brain and then the approach of treatment also varies. So as I said, it's a very important and easy test. It's just a blood test that you can perform and based on your uh, prolactin levels, this can be treated. So when it comes to male infertility, like I said, yes, definitely erectile dysfunction, you know, low libido, uh, low interest in sexual activities, all these things are definitely there. But when we talk about the sperm, the sperm quality also could be affected. There could be low count of uh, sperms or the morphology could be affected. So these are things that uh, you know indicate to us that maybe there is an issue with prolactin as well. If you want to understand more about prolactin and its connection with male infertility, please feel free to contact us. Thank you. A lot of effort has gone into making this video. Please like and subscribe us. Thank you.